Someone just kicked me. <laughs> oh. Haley, oh. Sorry. whose great idea was it to spend winter in Greenland? Hmm. Sorry, dudes. I thought this might be really fun. Really fun idea to buy non-refundable tickets. Now we have to spend four months in complete darkness? Not complete darkness, you guys. Check it out. I got one match left. Oh, so here we go. Good. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, no. Sorry, you Freak. guys. Now what, Rob? Um, well, what can I say? The tickets were really cheap. But look on the bright side. Now we can document the effects of vitamin D deficiency. You know, no sun, way less vitamin D. That sounds like an awesome idea, Rob. Sweet, dude. Oh, no, no. You God. might be right. That vitamin really? D stuff, isn't that what we need for bone production? Oh, yeah, it's totally vital. So you guys, no crazy stuff while we're here, okay? Weak skeletons means bones breaking. <laughs> yeah. You know, vitamin D does play an important role in keeping strong bones strong. But check it out. Gravity also is really important. Gravity? gravity? Yeah, you see gravity. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, uh, oh, uh, is that uh, 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 oh. Oh. I think Hazen might have just fallen down the stairs. Well, oh. that's gravity working against bones. Oh, yeah. Good job, Hazen. Cool. Help me. Dear Hazen, you're rad. NASA needs your help for our next space mission as the smartest representative of the untamed explorers. You have been selected because of your unique skills in science education, extreme bicycling, potato farming, and stuff. It's true. I'm going to space! Yes! Finally going to space! Sweet, what's it say? Bring a straw, bungee cords, blue suitcase, favorite space helmet. Oh, sorry, buddy. Alien zap gun, <laughs> ball bearings. Oh, yeah, clean the door. Boris, and duct tape, of course. P.S. Don't forget to stock up on calcium. Hazen, come in Hazen. Can you hear me? I, I don't think he's in range. You know what, in our bodies, calcium is an important building block of our skeletons. And it's true, astronauts, when they go on prolonged space travel, need to consume calcium, well, among other things. But why? Yep, calcium's pretty important. Without it, we couldn't build a skeleton. And without a skeleton, we wouldn't have large land animals. Gravity would just leave us as a big Bone will adapt. It will change its structure in response to a change in its function. So here on Earth, you know, bone has the function of, of uh, you know, resisting the loads that are placed upon it, you know, just, just walking around here on Earth. Uh, up in space, we don't have this force that's placed, or this loading that's placed upon us. Bone has the capability of sensing the loads that are placed upon it, the loads from gravity, the loads from, you know, that, that our muscle force is put on um, it, so that we can move and be mobile. The osteocyte here is, is considered the gravity sensing cell that senses the amount of load or unloading in there, and it will send out signals that somehow recruits these osteoclasts from the circulation in the bone marrow and from blood vessels that come in and they reduce or cause this added adaptation of the bone structure. And what it does is they'll degrade away this bone, and as the bone is undergoing this resorption, it releases the calcium. And this is the way that it's uh, dropping its mass. We've been up in space for about 40 years now, and probably about the main state of a countermeasure for this uh, skeletal adaptation is to provide some of the loading that we would have experienced here through exercise. You know, essentially, you're giving the skeleton a reason not to adapt 
because they have to be strong in order to maintain um, uh, the weight that they're going to experience, the loading they'll experience through the exercise program. Not only are they losing calcium because it's being released from their, um, but the, from their bones, but they're not absorbing calcium from their diet. And so uh, we're going to evaluate whether the supplementation of vitamin D um, facilitates this process more or you know, we might have to explore other possibilities, other therapies. Dr. Sabonga showed me the tests they run to measure an individual's bone density when an astronaut comes back from space. But here at NASA, their research goes far beyond astronauts. It has the potential to help all of us. With the studies that we're doing here at NASA, uh, we're, able, we're actually focusing in on one type of, of osteoporosis, which is the disuse osteoporosis. And this will certainly help us in, um, in addressing some of the immobilization or the disuse osteoporosis that we see here on Earth. All right, so scientists are looking at new horizons in outer space to help us solve important questions here on Earth. Space research has opened the door to a whole new world where we can learn about things that would be difficult to study here on Earth. What with all this gravity. Does this sound exciting? Well, it could be you up there with Hazen. So never stop living your dreams and never stop exploring new worlds.